political drama this evening, audience. Hi, I'm Shane Steele, and we're going to be introducing you to a little play by Clifford Odets called Waiting for Lefty, arguably his most important political drama. But we're going to reverse the style a little bit. It's going to be done in the style of the play I analyzed, which is Till the Day I Die, done in the directorial style whoa, 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 of myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Well, Waiting for Lefty is my play, so... I think I should be the director. Well, right? okay, point made, but I'm but the guy. But I know you guys, because you're interpreting the play all wrong. Like what? I should direct it because I know exactly we would do it. Like leave it to Beaver. Whoa! No, no, no! no, 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 no. Want these old 1950s vintage things. They want awesome action packed Michael Bay, Steven Spielberg, no. big and slow motion films. Okay, no, no, okay, no, no, okay. No, no, okay. No, no, no. Um, I'm just gonna say that we all do one each. Would that work? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. just cut it up into our own yeah. section? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. exactly. Okay. Tiny bearded right. man is right. And scene. Scene. Okay, Shane, right. mine's gonna be yeah, yours. Yeah, of course. Me first. first. First come, first serve. Alright. So, the play I analyzed was Till the Day I Die, which is very politically heavy on anti-Nazism. It's a propaganda piece designed to make you hate the Nazis. So, I've taken this little section of the scene and made it very propaganda heavy. There's a clear antagonist, there's a clear victim, and you'll see how it kind of makes the work a little dated. Have a look. Where's all the furniture, honey? They took it. No installments paid. When? Three o'clock. They can't do that. Can't. They did. Why? Uh, the Palookas? We paid three quarters! The man said read the contract. Must have been a phony. It's a regular contract and you signed it. Don't be so sour, Edna. Do it in the movies, Joe. They, they paid Clark Gable big money for it. This is a hell of a house to come home to. Take my word. Oh, well, take my word. Whose fault is it? Must you start that stuff again? Maybe we could talk about the books. I'd like to slap you in the mouth! You won't! No, 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 no. This is not how Clifford Odets would have wanted it. This is ridiculous. In plays like Awake and Sing, families dealt with things like suicide, post-war trauma, and adultery, and they did it with a smile. They wanted to be the perfect American family. So if we were to do this, I think we would set it a couple decades in the future and maybe think, like, leave it to Beaver. Think the Cleaver family. Yeah, that's it. Jeez, <laughs> Edna, you get me sore sometimes. <laughs> but look at me, I'm laughing all over. Don't insult me. Can I help it if times are bad? What the heck do you want me to do? Jump off a bridge or something? <laughs> <laughs> don't yell. I just put the kids to bed so they won't know that they missed a meal. If I don't have Emmy's shoes sold by tomorrow, she can't go to school. <laughs> I booked 220 on the job today. An old lady with a dog was lit. She gave me a quarter tip by accident. The month's rent is due tomorrow. Don't look at me that way, Edna. I'm looking through you, not at you. But everything was gonna be just ducky. We were gonna have a cottage by the waterfall, roses in the picker, but you're a four-star bust. And if you think I'm going to stand for it, you must be crazy as a bed bug. There's no work. I'd get a job if I could, and that you know it. <laughs> I only know we're at the bottom of the ocean. What can I do? <laughs> Who's the man in the family? You or me? Yeah, that's no answer. <laughs> Gee, golly. Give me a break, too. I work my fingers to the bone. I'll open yeah. a can of salmon. Not now. Tell me what to do. I'm not God. Jeez, I wish I was a kid again so I didn't have to think about the next minute. <laughs> But you're not a kid, and you got two blondy kids sleeping in the next room, wondering where their next meal is coming from. And that's not all I'm mentioning. I lie in bed awake every night for the past five years. For God's sake, put something together, Joe. Get your friends together and organize a strike or something. I'm turning into a sour old nag. Strikes Whoa. don't work. <laughs> this is not... This isn't right. Waiting for Lefty was a play written in the 1930s, um, dealing with the struggles of, you know, Dead end jobs and the boom and bust of the economic time in that period, and 
if I were to direct the scene, I would try to capture the real life emotion that these characters face. And so I would want to film it as if it were, say, a documentary or a reality TV show. Get crazy, get wild, let's party, get loud. If you want to have fun and do something, if you want to have fun. You're going to wake them up. I'm worried about waking you up. I think people just don't like get it. What it's like living with Joe, like, because he doesn't have a job, you know. Don't. And, and then, like, when I try and argue with him, there's this thing where he just sits on the computer with his yeah. headphones on, like he can't hear me, but I know he doesn't get near me. Ah, oh, so yeah, Edna's a it's a piece of work. A lot of a lot of woman. A lot of woman and. shows like Jersey Shore where I don't need to see any more of it, okay? Look, in his later years, Odette stopped with the whole political message play and decided to, well, appeal to an audience. You could say he sold out because he just wanted to bring in a crowd. So what if he would have done that today? You'll see that the political message is completely gone, and it's nothing but trying to please you, the audience. Here's a good example. No! Well, I guess I ain't gonna let you stand on! No, no you lousy tart, no! Get the hell out of here! Go pick up that lousy bull go off the corner and go to some pushy hotel downtown! You're crawling like a worm. You'll be crawling in a minute! You don't scare me that much. This is what I slid it for! Ha! Tell it to your boss! He don't give a damn about you or me! That's what I say! Don't change the subject! We've seen a lot today, isn't that right, Cliffy? Clifford Odets! Yeah! Well, it, let me let me ask you. Isn't it right that Waiting for Lefty is your most talked about piece? Uh, whether it's in discussion or literary analysis. But today we tried to open you up to some of his other major works by presenting their stylistical imprints. The Country Girl. Till the Day I Die, and Awake and Sing. These other major plays are examples of his long-spanning career throughout the Depression era and into the Cold War. But perhaps his testimonial in front of the, the HUAC committee, or his, his time in Hollywood writing Elvis movies and TV shows, uh, yeah, it was a good time, Clifford, uh, that may have ousted him from the intellectual community. But today, we hope that you can begin to take Odette's work more seriously and understand the social and political messages that he was presenting in his time. <laughs> 